Hello there! Welcome to Learn to Play Through. I'm your host, Jonathan, and welcome back as we begin our journey into the mine. Our heroes, the Gunslinger and the Saloon Girl, stand before an open mine entrance. But who are they? Why do they have what they have? And why are they here? The Gunslinger, Yvette Wilson, 26 years old. A little over a year ago, Yvette received a letter from her younger sister, Shauna. In the letter, it explains how she's being held captive abusively by her employer and now wishes to be free. In the past year, Yvette secretly obtained a pistol, special bullets, and began practicing. Though her quick draws were not the greatest, once her pistol made its way into her hand, she gritted her teeth while her open hand fanned the hammer a blur. But as she practiced in secrecy, paranoia set in aplenty. If not for the sips of whiskey from the bottle and reality checks from her hand mirror, she may have gone crazy months ago from what the people call voices in the dark. Now, her sanity is at an all-time high. Today, Yvette has come to remove her sister, Shauna, the saloon girl, from her line of work. But short of money, she signed a contract with Clark Morgan, the owner of Hotel Morgan, to return any dark stone found from the rumor of a vast deposit of dark stone in one of the local mines to gain her sister's freedom. The saloon girl, Shauna Wilson, 23 years old. Two years ago, after a heated confrontation with her sister, Yvette, the gunslinger, Shauna left home, traveled west, and soon found herself falling into a line of work she could comfort others with her presence. Within the year, times got worse as her employer began to strike her to keep her in line and found her job impossible to escape from. If not for her fast movement, and acrobatic dodging to help her defend against them, she may have been found in the North 40, plenty of times, lifeless. But thanks to the weathered poncho, which shielded her from the weather, and an old lantern, both she received from her sister when she was in late teen, her health grew stronger and she no longer hears the voices in the dark. Today, with the arrival of her sister, she joins up and hopefully comes to find their fortunes to provide a new future of freedom. If that does not work, a small holdout pistol, since that is the only size she could use, tucked firmly into her girder belt, or a three sticks of dynamite with the initials CM scratched into them, should do the trick. So with the heroes and their history and objectives introduced, let's introduce the mission. As I said in the game setup, this is the first mission in the learn phase, so we're going to go ahead and start with that introductory mission, A Fistful of Darkstone, located in the rulebook on page 9 in the section, Your First Game. There are five sections regarding the mission. The first section is that this mission is a basic game. Since there is a lot to wrap your mind around, some of the advanced elements are going to be left out. First of all, there's not going to be any epic threats. There's not going to be any elite abilities. So on the enemies at the bottom, there's an elite chart. They'll not be using those. There's not going to be any other worlds. So there's the world card. And if you pick that one, it comes up to another world. This is the Targa Plateau, so there will not be any other worlds. There won't be any other world portals, so when you bring up an exploration token, the little blue circle at the top represents a portal. There won't be any of those, and if a portal does appear, we'll just use it as a door. There will not be any advanced encounters, so on the map deck, when you draw the map tile, on the bottom it says Advanced Summoning Circle. So we will not be using any advanced encounters. And then the encounter card, which is called Gateway to Another World, will not be using that one. So if for some reason we draw that one, we'll go ahead and just discard it and draw a new encounter card. The next section, A Fistful of Darkstone. This is the introductory mission, and the blurb goes, the heroes have heard rumor of a vast deposit of darkstone buried in one of the local mines 
and have come to find their fortune. Our third section, Mission Goals. To find the Dark Stone, you must find two exploration tokens, and on the exploration tokens, you need to find two of the clue icons. Those are the red circles with the white exclamation points. When you find that first clue icon, it basically tells you that you're on the correct path to finding the Dark Stone. When you find the second clue icon, that is telling you that you found the deposit itself. The fourth section, the objective room, when the second clue icon is revealed on the exploration token, two things are going to happen. So when you find this exploration token, the first thing is that any encounter or attacks are going to be disregarded. The second is the three door icons at the top. Those will be discarded also as the objective room has no exits. Then you'll go ahead and you're going to draw a high threat card, which is in the red. And then you'll go ahead and you'll battle those enemies that come out as a large group of creatures have been attracted by the Darkstone. Our last section is the reward. If all of the enemies are defeated, the heroes have completed the mission and received 25 XP, experience points, and D3 Darkstone. And the best of it is now Ashana is a free woman. So with our heroes and mission introduced, join us next video as our heroes begin their adventure in Room 1, Mine Entrance.